it's Sunday. The government is shut down. It is Christmas Eve Eve. And I'm Stephanie. And this is the weekly wrap up for December the 16th through the 22nd. As I said, this is the weekly wrap up. Um, I am tired, very tired. I had a headache last night and took some Aleve PM and slept a long time. And then I got up and tried to read some books and just kept falling asleep back on them. I don't know why, because I was tired, probably. Probably because taking that Aleve PM at like 11 o'clock at night, almost 12, probably didn't do me any good. It made sure that uh, I slept for a good amount of hours. But, uh, you guys are probably wondering, why is your hair up in, in a little cap, right? Yeah, because I'm tired of this hair and I'm changing it. The year is almost over. I have so much to read still. And oh, so let's just get to what I read last week because there's a whole bunch of them. And I didn't even count. Nine books last week. Nine 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 oh my gosh that's a lot of books last week wow i just realized that so in order to not make this a super long video i'm just gonna get right to it so the first book that i read last week was checkmate this is love book number two in the checkmate series by kennedy fox i place this in contemporary i give it five stars i listen to it on audiobook and this is the conclusion to travis and viola's story you were left in a cliffhanger in book one and you get your answers in book two it's still sexy it's still steamy steamy it's still all sorts of wonderfulness and then in this book even though travis and viola's story is over you're sort of left with a cliffhanger and it makes you want to go and get the next books in the series as well which starts with a new couple <sighs> kennedy fox i've been sleeping on you and i'm sorry but i'm 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 gonna make this work because them books are real good those two books from these two that were good, were amazing, and I'm gonna get to the rest of the series because I got to know about these couples. Yes. The next book that I read was Stay Close For You, number one by Alexa Riley. I place this in erotic short story. I give this book four stars. I listen to it on audiobook. This book follows Penelope and Ivan. Ivan is this Russian orphan assassin type guy and Penelope is the daughter of a character that you met in one of Alexa Riley's full novels and I loved this little look back into their life and into the kids lives now. So Penelope is a twin. She has a twin sister named Pandora. Their mother is super beautiful. This book was steamy. It was ha no. This one was not super steamy. This one was like mild Alexa Riley. I was like, whoa, this is Alexa Riley? But then again, I think back and I'm like, okay, the novel that this book was spun off of, or the daughters have connection with, wasn't all that steamy either. But then I was like, oh wait, this is a Harlequin novel. So it was less on the steamy side. And I was like, okay, but I'm still here for it. So then the next book I read was Hold Tight for You Number Two by Alexa Riley. This is an erotic short story as well. I give this one four stars. Listen to it on audiobook. And this is the twin sister story, Pandora and Royce. I think I'm saying his name correctly. But they had a connection when they were younger, I believe. Or no. <laughs> so Pandora, I got these... There's three of them, and I read all three of them. Um, but Royce is coming in to consult for the company that Pandora works for, which is the family job, and she's super secretive, and I, I loved it. This one notched up the steam level a little bit more than the first book in the spinoff series of novellas, and I was, I was there for it. I was there for Pandora and Royce's story. Then I read 
Don't Go, which is For You number three by Alexa Riley, erotic short story again, and I give this one four stars as well. This is an audiobook, and this is the third story of the kids in the novella or novel, full length novel story, another child of the story. And this one is Henry and Corey. So Henry loved Corey when they were young. They didn't see eye to eye because when they were in school, they were on different sides of the fence. Corey was the scholarship kid and Henry was the kid that had a whole bunch of money and they had to find their balance. They had an issue when they went to prom and they kind of split up. And Henry has wanted her, wanted Corey, for like ever, forever, since that very first time that they met each other. And this is a dual virgin story. I loved it. And this story ramped up that steamy, spicy yumminess to all sorts of levels. It was amazing. And I felt it was a good culmination to the spinoff stories of these kids from that novel full-length novel story so makes me want to go back and finish that novel series as well because I only read one of the three books out of that one so I'm planning on going back the next book that I read was Barefoot and Pregnant PDA number 10 by Millie Tyndall and I placed this in erotic paranormal short stories. I give this one four stars. I listened to it on audiobook. And this one follows Cassandra, who is a human, and Talon, who is a bear shifter. And the wonderful Jerry from the Paranormal Dating Agency is pairing up another set of couples. And I loved the story because I read two stories in this series and was completely turned off. I was like, what is going on? Wh why did you change narrators? And the whole feel of the stories was just eh. And I wasn't planning on going back into the series, but they did become available on the romance package. So I went ahead and picked this one up and read it and was like, yes, yes, this is what I love. This is the steamy, sexy shifter. Oh, just so much yumminess. And I was like, okay. Yep, we're back to the same narrator, and I'm loving it again, so let's just continue on. So then the next book that I read was Gentleman 9 by Penelope Ward. I place this in Contemporary. I give this book 4 to 4.5 stars. I listen to it on audiobook, and this book follows Chaining and Amber and Rory. They were friends when they were young, and then some things happened. They went their sort of separate ways. Well, Channing has a job that he's doing, so it sort of takes him to the same town that Amber is in. And Amber has a loft or apartment that she runs on Airbnb, and he rents out her room for the three months that he is in town doing his business. Well, come to find out, Rory and Amber broke up after nine years of a relationship. She's in a bad place and she decides to start to get back out there and contacts an escorting service. Well, Channing sees that she's done this and he sort of intervenes. And true feelings are known and I probably would have given this one higher stars had they not introduced Rory the way that they introduced him. I didn't feel his explanation for his actions and I didn't like him as a character. He could have been gone, just been gone. But overall, I did like the sexiness and banter between Amber and Channing and I loved all of the descriptions that came along with it because I was definitely having an issue with finding those characters in my mind to know what they look like in my mind. And Penelope Ward gave those descriptions to me by giving me pop culture references or characters that I know and people that I know. Actors. That's what I was looking for. Actors that I know. So I could have a picture of my mind, what this person, what this character sort of looked like. And I really enjoyed that. The next book I read was Tossing It, Bronze Bay Number 2 by Rachel Robinson. I placed this in Contemporary. I also read it for Genrethon, which is Past Arcs. Um, I give this one 4.5 to 5 stars. I 
read it as an arc, as I said, in ebook form. And this book follows Milena and Leif. So Rachel Robinson in this series of books and spinoffs, she has this like amazing way of making the book move quickly, but at the same time, giving the love and attention to the characters without sort of leaving you wanting more and being overly descriptive. So I love that. So Milena finds out that she is pregnant and then you are sort of zip back to the past on how Milena and Leif met and how she ended up pregnant. So it feels like everything is super rushed but the time frames you know have elapsed and it allows you to know okay so it wasn't just a whirlwind insta love sort of story there was some build up and some friendship and some things that you know were overturned and you knew that they were connected that it was right now i will say there was one scene that i can't really talk about because it's a bit of a spoiler that I didn't necessarily believe because of medical reasons, what have you. But at the same time, I sort of felt it. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm a, I'll let that go. Be it that it's fiction and everything like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be accurate. I'm cool. With, I'm down with that or medically possible. I'm down with that. I'm okay. Um, but other than that, I loved the flow of it. I loved their connection and their banter. It was very emotional because they both have to deal with something that is very sensitive in nature. It's about love and about taking care of family. And I just really enjoyed this. And I can't wait to get to the third book in the Bronze Bay series so that I will be all caught up with my Bronze Bay seals and love because I have a feeling that I know which seal it is that she's going to next in that book and I can't wait to find out his story and how he gets chained down. Now I will say that you probably should understand the series itself by reading uh, Black and White Flowers first and um, because you'll have some aha moments or you won't necessarily need the aha moments. These can be read as standalones. This one can be read as a standalone but you may be a little off put on how the world is at the time. So having that previous knowledge might help you a little more. The next book that I read was Swipe by Kennedy Ryan, and this is an erotic short story. I give this book 3.5 stars. I listened to it on the podcast of Read Me Romance. Read, read me romance. Yeah. Um, this book follows Miko and Adam. Miko is a widow who is still living in the shadow of her dead husband's writings and author greatness. Um, this one I didn't particularly care for. I pretty much love almost anything that Kennedy Ryan writes. This one just didn't click for me. Didn't click for me. Um, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't believe that... Adam had this unrequited love for Miko, and I didn't feel that she sort of had this secret connection to him. I just wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry. The next book that I read was Piece of Tale, which is PDA number 13 by Millie Tindall, and this is an erotic uh, paranormal romance. I give this one four stars. I listened to it on audiobook. I love this one. We are back in On Earth. We're no longer in outer space. Jerry is hooking up a leopard leader, alpha female, named Becca, and Jalen, who is a wolf shifter alpha male. And both of them have problems in their pride and packs where their people are trying to push back on them because they don't have mates, they haven't done anything to get mates, and they want them to solidify that they are the alphas of their pack and their pride. And whew, this had some suspense to it. It was sexy. It was fun. Their banter between each other, their chance meeting was great. I loved it. I was like, yes, I was so here for it. 
so very here for it. And I love that Becca was strong, that Jalen was strong, that both of them had their alpha aspects just on point. Just loved it. So those are the books that I read last week. And now let's get to what I am currently reading. I am currently reading Lock by Deborah Anastasia. I am about 30% in. This is Ember's story, who is Nix's sister. He had to step away or was pushed away. And she didn't know who her father was. Her mother was murdered. And you get a little bit of the backstory behind Nix and animals need to protect Amber and Amber is off at school being trying to be a normal 19 year old she, one night she ends up meeting Locke after he is thrown through a glass window because the gang members that he rolls with are mad at him for stopping them from drugging and raping a female while they're at a party so he gets treated bad right now they're in the courtship uh, moments of their lives and you're also finding out the things that Amber wanted. Um, I'm a little on the fence on if I know what nationalities these people are at this point or um, yeah we'll go with nationalities because I have a feeling that Locke may be African American maybe but I'm not exactly sure. I haven't I can't I don't I miss maybe I missed that part not sure but this may play out to be an interracial couple as well not sure yet we will find out but i'm intrigued by the story i am so very intrigued by the story and that is what i'm reading right now um i'm not listening to anything right now but i'm sure it's sunday and as i said in the beginning of this video the government is closed um and the holidays are here we do get a holiday for Monday, which is Christmas Eve, and then of course Christmas we have off. So I will probably pick up some books to listen to unless my time is demanded of me. Um, I'll be taking down my hair so I can pop my earbuds in and listen to a story then and just not be bothered with anyone else. But that is what I am reading, what I read last week, what I'm currently reading. I didn't get any book mail last week. Nope. But then again, I don't have a P.O. box, which was one of the questions that Mara from Books Like Woe has a huge discussion video. She released it today, I think, or maybe it was yesterday or early this morning, something like that. But I watched her video and I gave some, I think, are good tips, I guess, about being a booktuber and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this that's one of the things. Here in the United States, I found that P.O. boxes are super expensive. I am not into giving my personal home address out to people unless I have to um, because spam is a big thing. And it's not just on the Internet that you get spam um, or junk mail or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I won't be getting a P.O. box. I don't have a need for it. Um, I don't think that my channel is large enough and I don't know that you guys would send me stuff on a regular and I prefer to read my books in e-copy so yeah there's that too but have you read any of the books that I just named off and talked about let me know down in the comments and if you guys didn't know see here I go just thinking off the cuff here if you guys didn't know I do timestamp and write all of the information down in the description box so you guys can always go to certain things that you want to read or want to hear about if you time if you check out the timestamps but as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel thank you for watching and we will see you guys later